Coming up, you're going to discover how to accurately see the downloads of any app. Stay tuned. What is up, App Nation? It is Steve P. Young, founder of AppMasters.com. And today I want to show you how do you see the downloads of any app, your competitors, maybe somebody else that you're just like, hey, should I build this app? How many downloads do they have? Because is there a real need in the market for this? Or you're trying to keep, you're trying to create a spin-off of another existing app and you want to see, hey, what are the downloads like for them? What else are they doing for them? So I got a text from my good friend. It's like he said, he asked me the same question. I thought, hey, if he has this question and he's got a great app business, I'm sure people in my audience would have the same question. So I'm going to show you a tool that accurately displays the downloads for any app. Now, it's the monthly breakdown. It's usually the previous month's breakdown of downloads, not daily, but you can calculate the daily. All right. So without further ado, let's get into the screen share. Here we are. The tool is called Sensor Tower, Sensor Tower dot com. I have one of their subscriptions. Now it's the $79 subscription. So really not that expensive guys. Okay. Like really super cheap. If you're serious about the app space, I would definitely sign up for them. They are one of the ASO tools that I recommend. The other one obviously being mobile action too, if you've been paying attention, which I know you have, but today I want to show you how you do this. So I've got my app added into the, into the dashboard. So you can click add new app and then put any app you want to put in there. So I just put my app because I don't want to reveal anybody else's information. So what you're going to do is go to keyword research and let's say I've already kind of did this search, but let's say you're searching for meditation. Now yeah, you'd like, Hey, I love meditation. Me personally, I love meditation. I've been doing it for a long time and I want to see, Hey, maybe I want to create a meditation app for instance. Right. And so you just put meditation in here and this is taking a little bit longer than I wanted. Okay. So I'm going to just focus on the top three because I'm going to show you what, where to find it. So if you click on any of the, the links, the, the apps, you'll see center tower will bring you to the profile of this app, the overview, and then you can see how many downloads they've estimated. Okay. So that's one way to do it. So now you can see downloads and estimate revenue. And then here's some advertising things that they're doing too. All right. So really cool. Here are the reviews. Really, really cool estimated revenues. Here's where the downloads are coming from. So 74% from the US. Here's the latest update. Here are any of the reviews that you want to read through. So all the, the categories that they're in. So the first primary category and the secondary category, their release date, and then their worldwide release date, and then their last updated. Cool? Top in-app purchases. So you can see all this. So you can get, get a lot of insight on what people are buying within the app. looks like this premium version and then everything else. And here are the downloads. All right. So I'm going to click on the next one. Calm, for instance, we're going to go to calm. And then you can see, wow, calm. That's amazing. Calm. You guys are doing almost a million downloads a month. They're probably over it. And I'll tell you why in just a second. Okay. And doing about 2 million revenue. So let's go back to this simple habit real quick and just compare. You see 80,000 downloads. About 300,000 in revenue. Now, these are all estimated, okay? And this is about a million downloads with 2 million. So, let's see how Headspace is doing. I love Calm, by the way, too. I use Simple Habit personally because I love the five minute meditation, which, you know, Calm has seven minutes. They don't, there's not really a timeline, but Simple Habit is just five to 10 minutes. Okay, so Headspace, so it looks like Calm's a leader with 900,000 downloads. We've got Headspace in second place with about half a million downloads and 1 million in revenue. And then Simple Habit with 300,000 downloads for their app a month. Okay. So you can only see per month. And unfortunately, you can't go back. I think you're going to have to pay for more. See, like store intelligence. They do have a store intelligence feature platform. So for those who want to pay a little bit more, this is just the ASO platform. But if you want the store intelligence platform, you're going to have to pay a little bit more. And it's locked right here. Right. So, but you can get sort of a rough idea of what they've been doing. And let's see what happens here. 
Okay, so it's an ad intelligence you're gonna have to pay more a little bit too. So you're probably wondering now, okay, Steve, see the data, how accurate is it? Well, I'll tell you, I actually went through our apps and a few of my clients' apps who have a good amount of downloads on their apps, of monthly downloads, and I just compared. So I was looking at real data versus what Sensor Tower was saying. And what I found was Sensor Tower was about 70% accurate. So they're about 70% right, meaning it's usually less. 70, so like, <laughs> if I got 10 downloads a month, they would report that I got seven downloads a month. With me? Okay, they're re reporting about, there's about 70% accurate. Okay, so from the clients and from my apps that we looked at, we saw that they were about 70% accurate. Again, that means if I was getting set a thousand, let's say, let's say 10,000 downloads a month, they would probably report about 7,000. Okay, so you get a rough estimate. And this is across different categories that I was looking at with my apps and then clients apps. So they were reporting about 70% of the downloads for any given month. Okay, so pretty accurate. Just add on, tack out another 30% to whatever you're calculating and you'll have that exact sort of accurate number in terms of downloads. And then secondly, what I do wanna tell you guys as well, I don't remember. Oh, I remember now. <laughs> and secondly, what I wanna tell you guys is that it the lowest, so if you're doing less than 5,000, it's just gonna say less than 5,000. So you wanna pick like high volume apps because what I've noticed is for some of my smaller apps, if it's anything less than 5,000, it's just gonna say less than 5,000. Okay, so pretty, pretty accurate in my eye. Go check it out. It is sensortower.com. I don't have any special deals. I'm not affiliated with them as at all, but I do want to show you be, because I got this question from a friend of mine that is pretty advanced in the app space that I thought you guys would have this question as well. And I wanted to validate the data and really tell you what how accurate this data is. So again, in summary, sensortower.com to see the downloads of any app and they're about 70%. They have, they're reporting about 70% of the downloads. All that means is if I'm getting 10,000, you're gonna see, for real, if I'm getting 10,000 downloads, you're only gonna see 7,000 reported by Sensor Tower. All right, guys, that's it. If you like these videos, make sure you hit subscribe. And if you haven't already signed up for App Masters Academy, we just launched a soft launch course in there as well, and we're adding a ton of new content. Stay tuned for that, because we're gonna be hosting a virtual summit and all that content from the virtual summit will be under App Masters Academy. You can get it for free on the day it goes live, but if you want access to it forever, it's only gonna be available on App Masters Academy. So definitely go sign up, okay? AppMastersAcademy.com. And I'll see you on the next video. See ya.